Last week, I gave you guys some insight on how I choose what amounts I stuff into each one of my cash binder envelopes. This week, I wanna go a step further and we're gonna figure out how you will decide. I'm gonna be showing you some actual resources so you don't feel lost. And after we go over my budget really quick, check in on my spending and cash stuff my envelopes, I'm gonna give you an overview on prioritizing your paycheck and how to organize your money so that you can gain some more confidence in your new financial journey. So get ready for cash stuffing, checking in with my budget, no spend days, impulse purchases, debt payoff, spending trackers, and choosing a giveaway winner. Let's get into it. So the other day I finally organized and cleaned, and it took me all day, you guys, what we call my YouTube room. And in all of my papers, I found this. The single most important piece of paper from my personal budgeting journey that I will keep forever and ever as my personal reminder. This is my list of debts. The amounts that were owed and when I paid them off. Now think about this, you guys. At one point, not so long ago, these were all monthly payments. And this was before I was budgeting consistently, before I was tracking my spending, before I honestly realized that we were just working to pay debt, not ourselves, banks, lenders, finance companies, they're all on here. <laughs> and if you're looking at this and thinking, hmm, that looks familiar, Jen, I have one of those lists of debts right now. Don't get discouraged or think that you will never get out of this because with a plan, AKA budget binder, lots of work, and yes, everyone's favorite, sacrifice. This can be minimized and then eventually gone. And this is where you wanna know how, right? Absolutely you do. You wanna know how can I get rid of my list of debts? So if we take a look at mine, you'll notice all of the smaller amounts are up here at the top and the amounts get larger for the most part as we go. So what do you have to do to start seeing paid next to all of your debts? And obviously I'm gonna tell you what I did and what actually did work for me. I used Dave Ramsey's seven baby steps. I'm gonna link this sheet down below so that you can print it out. And this is what I want you to remember when you're in the middle of your seven baby steps. No matter what you make, no matter what your income is, when you budget, you have got to prioritize. I go over this in much more detail here in this step-by-step -step video on setting up a budget, and you can watch that next, but right now I'm gonna be a little honest here. I am in a few budgeting groups on Facebook, and a lot of times people will post their actual budget sheet, and they ask for help from all of the members in the group on how to do their budget a little bit better. And they will say they have cut out everything they can think of, but they're still in the red. They still can't pay any extra on their debt and they just can't seem to save any money. So obviously I'm nosy, so I will click it and I'll look at their budget. And always, always you guys, there's Netflix, the gym, dance classes for their kid, Amazon Prime, lawn service, pest service, a very expensive vehicle. So your first step my rising budgeters, is to take a look at anything in your budget that is not a true need and ask yourself, am I willing to find a solution to this spending? And what I mean by that is a lot of times when you're looking at someone's budget and you see the gym and you say, hey, first off, I would cut out the gym membership. You're always gonna hear the same thing, but the gym makes me feel better, it's for my health. Here's the solution. Work out at home for free. You can watch YouTube videos, zero dollars. Maybe you don't like following a video and you use equipment. There is always used equipment on Facebook Marketplace. You can put it in your garage and it'll pay for itself in a matter of months. Here's another one, problem. My child loves 
the dance class. Solution, let your child know it's temporary and look for some free classes that you know your child will still enjoy at your library or your local civic center. Problem, Netflix is my only way to watch things that I enjoy and I deserve that at least, right? Solution, download Tubi, Vudu, Pluto, thousands of shows and movies for free. You can absolutely do this. It is an adjustment and it might seem really hard at first, but to me, what's really hard is working at your job, getting your check and knowing that it's already gone. So if you are struggling and you can't seem to find any extra money, you always feel like you can only make those minimum payments, do this first step. Look very hard at your budget. What can you cut out or cut back on? That $20 for Netflix can be $20 that you put towards your $1,000 emergency fund. Do not underestimate the small amounts because they do add up. And here's something that you can use to get started. So Dave Ramsey's daughter, her name is Rachel Cruz. She has this 14 day money finder. It's basically a 14 day challenge. I'm going to link it below. And what you do is you sign up with your email and then every day you will get an email from Rachel Cruz. You follow along for the 14 days, do whatever it is that she says to do in that email. And then down here at the bottom, after your 14 days, I found how much? How much did you find after you completed this 14 day money finder? And if you are completely new to budgeting and you do not have your $1,000 emergency fund, that's where you wanna start. That is step one, $1,000 in an emergency fund. And I have this linked below. It is a packet with very detailed instructions on how to do these eight steps and everything is laid out for you so that you can start filling this in. So all of these are linked below for you guys. And then next week we can talk about another way to keep you moving in the right direction. So start with that. Let's turn things around and think about where you can make some changes in your budget because the end result is to see how it feels when you get all of these monthly payments back. Now let's look and see how I've been doing this past week. Maybe seeing some of the things from my budget binder will help you along. And if you don't have one of these, here's another video for you and how to get yours set up. And we're gonna go over this really quickly today because we've got some cash stuffing to do. So I'm gonna skip over my calendar for the week because I am actually gonna be out of town most of this week. I'm gonna go visit my sister and we are going to get our membership packets ready for you guys to be mailed out. So this week, I'm not even gonna be home. So let's move on to the good part, my budget. And what you are gonna see me budget today is what we're going to be cash stuffing into my four cash binders. My bills budget, already done. This is all the spending that I do after my bills. And doing it this way keeps me from overspending. And those are my four binders. So let's write these amounts. And what each one is gonna be getting today in this section. And right here, I've added my birthday binder because what I've noticed is if I don't budget for it, I don't stuff it. And up here in this section, this is my savings. And I do two challenges with you guys today. You'll see those later on in the video. And then I also add my other savings challenges that I do every Sunday here on the channel. So what amounts are these getting today? And then the last thing that I budget for is my everyday wallet. And their amounts for a total of 45. So now what we're gonna do to make sure that every dollar that we made is accounted for and has its place to go, we take what's left after my bills and we subtract these three amounts. 
and I should be left with a big fat goose egg. Let's see, 1240 minus 945 minus 250 minus 45. Yes, I have zero dollars left. And if you're new, this just means that I have no money left out in the cold to waste on anything. It's all been accounted for. So I was actually thinking last night while I was doing all of this, that making a video only about this part might be a really good guide for those of you that see this and think, oh my gosh, what is all this and what is she doing? So if that is you, comment below that you'd like to see a video on the cash planning and budget sheet part. Let's move on to the spending trackers. We'll come back to the no spend. Let's see how I did first. And let's zoom in and see, girl, is that in your budget? This is where we left off last week. That's all I spent this week, you guys. I bought myself some lash adhesive from Amazon for $15. So that means on the 9th, I had one spend day. Oh yes, I did good this week. So that means I have six no spend days. And if you've been following along, you know that I added, boy, is that in your budget? We are keeping track of Mr. Jason's spending as well. And as you can see, he did not do very well last week. So yeah, we had a little talk about it and I showed him all of his spending. And guess what Jason did this past week? He spent nothing. That is correct. Jason had all seven no spend days. He actually beat me. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is a good idea. If you have a partner and you want them to get on board with you, get your trackers for each one of you going because it works. And the last thing we're going to do are my savings challenges. And this one seems to be a favorite with you guys. See it, like it, want it, save it. And this is to curb your impulse spending. So instead of just buying everything that you want, everything that you see, you just say no, don't buy it. Write it down over here. This is the amount that it was. You're gonna challenge yourself to save either 25 or 50% of this cost and do it 10 times. So what did I want this week? I have my last two things here. And the first one was some Cafe Bustelo Leche coffee. You guys, this is the best coffee and Jason and I both love it. However, it's hard to get. So what does that mean? It means it's expensive. And even on Amazon, it was $40. So when we ran out, I went to buy it and I saw the cost again and I was like, no, I'm not buying this. I'm gonna put it on my challenge and save that money. And instead, I went to Publix and they had buy one, get one free on this eight o'clock dark Italian espresso coffee. And you guys, this is just as good. So instead of spending 40, I spent eight. So I'm really happy about that. And the other thing that I really wanted is this purse. So there's a little story behind this purse. I actually almost bought this purse Mm, maybe a few months ago and I didn't do it. I put it in my save for later and I saw it again and I contemplated it. I thought, Jen, you know, you've waited for this purse. You still haven't bought it, but you know what, you guys, I have purses in my closet. Some of them I haven't even used. So I do not need this $90 purse. Instead, I'm going to save that money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save 50% of the 40. So that's 20. And then I'm going to save 25% of the 90, which is $22.50. I'm going to round it up to $23. So that's $43 going into the savings challenge, but I actually saved myself $130 by not buying those two items. And as you can see, this is done. Let's add this up. That is a total of $246.25. But what you really want to do is think about all of this that you saved. Let's add that up. I'm very curious. 
oh my gosh, you guys, $929 by not buying 10 items that honestly I look back and I didn't need any of these. The only one out of all of these items that I think I might get is the bathroom shelving for $28. And if you watched, I think this was last week, this was actually $39 when I first wanted it, but it's on sale for $28. So I saved myself double time on that one. So let's rate the $246 that I saved total by doing this challenge. And here where it says I will put this towards this money is gonna get rolled over into this challenge. So let's go ahead and mark this one off while we're in the binder. And then later on in the video, you can see see it and erase debt. We'll stuff those and the no spend envelope as well while we cash stuff. And today I have $1,076 going into all of my binders. Let's count this up and make sure that's what I have. $1,076. Let's get started. As we're cash stuffing today, I'm gonna to be taking out some envelopes and I'm gonna be adding a few new ones in. As I've been mentioning in my videos lately, we have to be okay with adjusting, especially when you first start, or as life changes happen, because they are, and as some of you know, I just moved, Jason changed jobs, so lots of things are different. So let's see what I'm doing differently. And the first thing is husband. He has not been getting stuffed because he is working remotely and doesn't really need money to go out into the world. Jolene, this is our granddaughter. She gets 25 every week. She's up to 50. Uhtred's food, he is getting 25. And he has 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 71, two, three, four, 74. Uhtred's care is also getting 25, up to 75. Nails. Here's where I'm gonna be doing something a little different. I'm gonna give it 25. That is gonna be all it has. And I have decided that I am not gonna go to the nail salon any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and get the kit that's on Amazon. I think it's around $50. My daughter-in-law has been doing her own nails at home and every time she shows me how they look, I think, okay, I can do that too. So I'm gonna start saving some money on my nails moving forward by doing them myself. Same thing with lashes. I have cut these appointments out completely, which is why I just bought that lash adhesive that you saw on my spend day. So this is another place that I've been saving quite a bit of money, not to mention my time. Hair, this one is getting 70, and it now has 100, 20, 40, 60, 160. Wine, this is basically going to be all drinks, I've decided, this is new as well. I'm gonna put $30 in here, and again, that's all this has. Our kids are coming to visit uh, next month, and I'm gonna try to build this up as much as I can so that we can have some drinks by the pool. So you'll see me stuffing a little more than I normally do into this envelope. And takeout is getting 20 and is up to 20, 40, 50, 60, 65. So there are a few little changes in this one. How about the yellow binder? Let's see. Car insurance gets 46. 46 every week so that I can pay the full amount every six months. And I just paid it, so there's not a whole lot in here. It has 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 138. Car maintenance, getting a little bit of a lower amount this week, 25. 
and that's because it has quite a bit so I'm starting to feel a little more comfortable with what this envelope has and I don't think it needs quite as much each week so we have 100 200 300 350 375 375 medical is getting 50 and is now up to 100 200 3 4 20 40 60 85 and even 500 and next is tithe yes i finally changed out the dashboard it had big give here for so long i finally did it you guys and it gets 200 and is now up to four and here's some changes this one's coming out because it is automatically deducted so i don't need the envelope any longer and i'm gonna take getaways out as well we're not planning on any getaways anytime soon so when i need this again i'll get it back out Next up is the black binder and home sweet home is getting 100. This is not for my mortgage. This is for anything that the house may need slash extra principal payments. And I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 520, 25, 26, 27, 28. So with some of these envelopes now having over 500, I did ask my sister to make me some special prop money. So next week, I'll probably be swapping out some of these larger envelopes so I can put that money into my savings account. Next up is electric, and this gets 30. And again, this is not for my electric bill. This is for some of those bills that might be a little higher than I expected. I've got a cushion. 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 320, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 360. Groceries. This one gets 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and 50 every week. And this money was not spent. We used what we had this week and I only made one run to the grocery store. You will see that when I get to my wallet. So groceries is up to 250. Yes. Maybe a Sam's Club trip in my future. Winona. Okay, you guys, this one is coming out. I've decided to cancel this. Unfortunately, they took their quarterly payment and you can't cancel it or get it refunded. So I'm stuck paying for that. So all of this is going back into my checking account. Let's do the birthday binder really quick. This one is very easy. I have these three birthdays coming up. So they're each getting 10. That one's done. And this last binder is the one that has the no spend the erase debt and the see it challenge. So no spend, I had six days not spending and I'm gonna give myself $2 per day. So that's $12, 10, 11, 12. All together with the prop money that's in savings and the cash, it is up to 293. Okay, Emergen B. As most of you know, I cleared this out last week and put it into my home envelope. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a break from Emergen B. I already have my emergency fund. Next is date night. I am using this tracker for dinner reservations that we have coming up. And I'm gonna add 25 today. Each symbol is worth five. So I'm gonna color in five of the symbols. All ready to go. Adding the 25. And we're up to 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Amazon, okay. If you were watching last week, you know that I am actually negative for Amazon. So instead of adding the 50 that I would normally add, it's only getting seven because the 50 minus the 43 leaves me with seven. That's all Amazon has. But I did start to notice that the reason Amazon was getting used so much is because I was taking my two sister B expenses out of my Amazon envelope. So I am adding a two sister B expense envelope and stuffing it with $40.
And the last one, giveaways, is getting 10. And speaking of giveaways, let's get my Bella Taylor on the go wallet stuffed so that we can see which one of you won your very own Bella Taylor wallet. Let's start with groceries. I have 15 left out of the 50 that was in here. And we're gonna leave that for now. Household is good. Restaurants is getting 10, is up to 30. Personal, I did some spending in my personal envelope. So that one is getting 25. Giving is still in there. I took some out of miscellaneous to cover my personal spending. So that one needs 10. And we're all done with my wallet. Now let's see which one of you is our winner from last week. Okay, let's go to last week's video and take that URL and put it over here in comment picker. We had 310 of you. Okay, let's see who our winner is. Mendoza 6977. You are the winner. Our third out of our four winners of our Bella Taylor wallet giveaway. Three out of four, which means we have one more. So let's get the rules out of the way. 18 and up, free to enter, one per household. Must be a US resident. I want you to like this video. You must be a subscriber to Two Sister Bees. And I want you to comment below let it be me for our final Bella Taylor wallet giveaway. Let it be me. And to Ali Mendoza 6977, I want you to comment on this video. Comment anything you want. I will see your comment and I will give you instructions on how to claim your favorite Bella Taylor wallet from the Bella Taylor website. And another big thank you to Rich and Jen, the owners of Bella Taylor, for being so kind and generous to the hive and giving us four chances to win one of their amazing on-the-go cash spending wallets. So let's get this last bit of money stuffed into these two savings challenges. And let's start with see it, like it, want it, save it. This one is getting 20, 40, three. And this cash, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 230, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 248. So I'm a couple dollars over what I had here. That's okay, I'd rather be over than under. This cash is going into this savings challenge. So let's put the 43 that I marked off earlier with you guys, add that in, and what I've got in the envelope, and see what happens when you forget a savings challenge, which I did, I forgot this savings challenge for quite some time, but now it's a priority. I had this amount up here a little too high, which made it kind of stressful for me, so I lowered it quite a bit, and now I'm seeing progress. So this one now has 100, two, three, four, five, twenty-six. 26. Oh my gosh, you guys, five, 26. I'm halfway there, 5.04, I'm over halfway. 5.04 left and I can pay those phones off and be done with Verizon and their very high monthly bills. So with the total that I actually have in the envelope divided by how much each payment is, I should have 12 and a half of these marked off. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark off $12.50. 
12 of those. That looks like some progress. The membership club for Two Sister Bees, signups are always open. We have two different ones. We've got the $5 is the clubbies. And you guys, this pays for itself with all of the perks. And we've also got the Scratch Off Club. This is where you get a mailed packet each month. It's a different theme. It is super cute. And this is what I was mentioning earlier. I'm going to be going to April's this week to get those together for you guys. So get excited. They will be on their way very soon your May packets. So if you wanna have some fun with saving money, the clubs are a perfect way to do that. And make sure you watch my savings challenge videos here on the channel every Sunday at 8.30 Eastern time. Saving does not have to be dreadful or boring. April and I are always working on ways to show you that you can actually enjoy saving. So go check out twosisterbees.com and see what we've got going on over there. And in the meantime, if you're curious about how to pay off debt using Dave Ramsey's Baby Steps. Click here and watch this in-depth video where I go over how this packet can help you get that done.